I'm slowly getting used to this new quiet world. It seems like this whole island was abandoned in a hurry, just a couple of corpses and broken furniture left behind. I have no idea what happened and at this point I've given up on finding any answers. My primary goal is survival and I'm prepared to do anything it takes. Finding a proper rifle or a pistol would be a great start. I'm a terrible shot but it might scare the wolves away at least. Anything it takes, really, to survive. Anything it takes to find my wife. Not even she is gonna be safe out there in this quiet apocalypse. Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to the long dark. Welcome back. Look at this beautiful view. Oh, I like it. It's awesome. So, we are over here at, I think this is called Desolation Point. Uh, actually, I can check. Yeah, Desolation Point. We're not that cold. Let's uh, actually do some uh, charcoal business. Let's look. I don't know if it uh, actually does anything the way we look you can even click on this huh okay yeah it uh, gives you a nice view out here so might as well map this area yeah I never actually done and mapped everything yet because it's just it's just too much I mean it's a lot to do all the mapping <laughs> but yeah that's fine uh, we still have quite a lot of daylight I think it could be worth getting towards uh, the ship and maybe then push onwards to the houses I know those houses can have some nastiness going around them I don't know so we either do that but we are carrying a lot of stuff right now or we chill here for a bit in this uh, in this room and just do some work heal up first because there's a good chance we're gonna encounter some wolves try eating something yeah I think that's something we might do let's uh sure give me the charcoal there's a candy bar there i didn't see before sweet uh so let's actually get the fire going over here and maybe we can do some reading tonight sure let's use one of the books we have we have plenty so wood matches and the tinder plug it's not a butt plug my friends it's a tinder plug okay just saying let's start a fire over here and maybe just chill for a bit i think that could be could be doable right that could be quite doable let's go first start beautiful uh, we're not gonna take uh, a torch definitely not let's go ahead and first add some fuel sure there you go one hour that's gonna do it for now uh, what can we even cook sure let's uh, select you and we can uh, cook one of these Sure, we are opening it. I think we're using a knife. It didn't give us a choice But we can cook some nice pork and beans over here. Look only 15 minutes until they're ready. That's really sweet. It's really nice uh, Okay, I guess uh, yeah, it was smashed. It looks like we smashed it Beans and molasses with bits of what looks like pork amazing. Let's uh, pass time until it's ready It's hot now. That's 600 calories right there. Om nom 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 nom. Good job. We have benefit of warming up, sure, but uh, right now we don't really need that. Mm, how much uh, how much water do we have? 1.67 liters. Okay. No cooking slots available. Uh, do I do I need to do that? Yeah. Sure. Let's cook. Let's cook and you know what while we do this i mean i would rather read something else than the fishing book but we almost did the fishing thing already so wait we already did only did one hour i thought we did more well one hour is gonna be fine i don't think uh there you go it's boiled so this is fine 
Uh, we're just gonna take it right now. And we're gonna take the recycled can. Yeah, let's, let's you know what, let's uh, just spend today maybe doing some reading, maybe doing some repairs. Let's see. Um, we can harvest this one. I think that's gonna give us the fuel out of it as well, right? I think so. I'm not 100% sure though. No. Say if you be refueled, you can definitely do that. We don't need both of them. That's for damn sure. Maybe we could do we can do some repairs. This thing we can harvest. So it's gonna give us an arrowhead and uh, so sort of that. But that's all we can do. Uh, from scrap metal, we can also craft arrowheads out here. Let's actually check. So one scrap metal gives you uh, two arrowheads. For this one, for the hatchet, we need five scrap metal. We have two right now. Uh, heavy hammer, I believe, can be found somewhere out there. Mm. You know what? Let's uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, scrap this one because that's gonna give us uh, some of that. And let's hope it gives us the fuel as well. If not, this was a bit of a waste. That's fine. How do we check that? Yeah, we got the fuel out of it. Beautiful. Sure, let's refuel this as much as we can. There you go. And then we have some extra fuel. We got some extra scrap metal. These things you can't turn to scrap metal, unfortunately. That's okay. There's the arrowhead. Uh, we have some extra clothing that we can rip apart. So one of these shells. Definitely you can rip apart that thing. Let's harvest that bad boy. We can maybe do some repairs before the night falls. These guys are pretty good. Uh, they're better than the fleece, right? Yeah, so I think we're gonna keep these ones, the woolen ones, and the gauntlets that we are wearing. I think if I rip apart you, I get a uh, letter, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's rip them apart and let's see if we can repair the gauntlets that we are using right now. Stay. How long does the repair last? 30 minutes? Let's hope it happens. 70% chance. Please don't fail me. Please don't fail me. Please don't fail me. Let's go. Awesome. 100%. Look at that protection. 2, 2, 40% over here. Wetness. That was a good find. I like it. Uh, let's drink. Let's pop a soda uh, as well because we do need those calories. Yeah. There you go. And let's see what else we can do. Maybe something about clothing. Now we found another toque. This one is better, so let's wear that. But uh, the balaclava is better than just the toque, I believe. So this is good. We have the ski jacket and shell over there. There's the dress shirt. Right, we found a uh, new wool sweater. Hell yeah, we're gonna use that one. Better than the shirt. These gloves, and we're gonna keep one of these. And that's about it. Okay, the rest we can just te tear apart. Let's uh, harvest. Maybe I should have kept that too. You know, could have so been, tight. could have been useful. Let's do it. Uh, these ones, that one we're gonna keep. Let's harvest you. It's gonna take forty minutes to harvest. It's not exactly amazing. Now, did anything else take damage while we were fighting that uh, wolf? Probably pants are usually on the line. They're in the 70s. Uh, can we repair you? It's gonna take 45 minutes. Let's try it. Getting kind of thirsty. I would uh, hope that the night is not gonna catch us. Oh, really nice. Really nice. We are getting lucky with these repairs. So this is really good. Offers protection and everything. Uh, we're gonna rip apart you. These fleece meetings. Meetings. And yes, we're getting thirsty and tired. Food. Stop talking, my man. And we should rip apart this uh, dress shirt as well. Let's harvest that one. You know, I gotta do some inventory management sometimes. We are, of course, very loaded still, but that's fine. So now we are down here and I have no idea where to go to find our bed. So let's uh, turn this on. Let's go towards the bed so I can just go to sleep when I need it. 
when I when I can, or you know. Uh, but first things first, we're gonna do some more crafting, I think, because it's not that late yet. Let's harvest this bad boy. Let's go into inventory. So we have three of these. Would need two more if we are to actually do some proper crafting. We have a lot of books. We need to uh, research, which is okay, I guess. Uh, we're gonna need to drink something. We're gonna be thirsty and we're gonna need to eat something. Would be the best to eat these because they're have actually these ones are as heavy as these ones. Never mind, let's pop these sodas then. You know, it gives you some calories, it gives you uh, pretty much everything you need. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to do any more repairs right now. What are we carrying? Rose hip is a painkiller. Okay. That's fine. We have some antiseptic here. We have bandages. We have a lot of stuff we can burn over here. And hear weird noises out there. That's fine. Uh, sure, let's uh, prepare these. Yes, my man is going to get tired. That's okay. No worries. And we can prepare two of these. I might craft another bandage. I probably should have plenty of cloth. At least I hope so. Sweet. Uh, yeah, we have four cloth. Let's uh, do one set of bandages. Let's my even... energy is just disappearing. Yeah, you're disappearing. That's okay. You're the disappearing salami. It's what uh, your mommy and daddy used to play. There you go. Drink that. And the bed is here. Let's go to sleep for like... Eight hours. Good night, sleep tight, hope the bugs don't bite. Would be great. And hopefully in the morning the weather is gonna be nice. You have survived three hours. Still quite night time. So uh, pretty hungry, but I think we can sleep for like three more hours. The nights are quite long over here. And my man, he's uh he's tired. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna push on, even though we're still over encumbered a bit. Good, 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 good. Pretty hungry. Let's uh, nom. Uh, let's go into the inventory. We're gonna need to eat soon. No, we Gucci. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to, but let's actually survive on sodas for now. They are as heavy as the pork and beans. They give you, uh, you. They will hydrate you, and also give you some calories that you need, my friend. So this is okay. <clears throat> now we could start a quick fire. Let's actually look just check outside see how cold it is. Yes, uh, it's foggy. So that means it's probably not going to be too cold because usually there's no wind chill. That is foggy. Okay, let's uh, pop in here. My man, he's hungry. Let's get a fire started. A quick fire. Uh, just a quick fire, yeah. Uh, sure, burn one of the books. Why not? A star fire. Burn one of the one of the books. We don't need nothing too long. I think we're gonna cook one of those pork and beans and eat it just to get the heating buff, you know, so we don't freeze to death out there. Beautiful. First. Doing pretty well. Yeah, you're doing pretty well, my friend. This is gonna be, we don't need as much. So let's actually uh, cook with a can. And let's do that. Cook. How long that's gonna last? Please, fire, don't go out while we do this. Okay, 15 minutes. Okay, let's add some fuel and just drop on some sticks. Yeah. There you go. Now let's wait for this one to be ready. Perfection. Pass time until you're ready. And just eat it. Nom nom on that. It's gonna give you plenty of calories. And we should get the benefit of warming up. Awesome. It's not gonna be that bad outside. But we gotta make it down here on the back side. As I said, there's a pathway over here. Please don't break your leg, my friend. Just you know just scooch down a bit. Be chill. It's like going down the Timberwolf Mountain. It's the easiest thing in your life. And we're gonna go on the back of these islands. 
back there. I can hear the wolves. It sounds like they're behind me, which would be back there. And I'm hoping to avoid them by going back here. That is my goal. Now, there is something on the beach there. Be careful of the weak ice over here. Yeah, I think we're gonna avoid that for now. It's not worth falling in and uh, getting hypothermia because we would freeze to death. Nope. Not worth it. A yeah, beach coming. Might be a good technique. It's not really that needed yet. Okay, wolves are yelling out there. We're gonna go around the island. There's a deer over there. We're not gonna try to do anything to that deer. Wolves are probably back around the lighthouse. Mm, I see something out there. Is that just a rock? It might be just a rock. It's not getting too cold. That warming up benefit definitely helps us a lot. That's a rabbit. Okay, a rabbit. I think there couldn't be a corpse behind this area. It's a little island. Yeah, you rabbit, you just go away. We don't really want to hunt you right now. It's not needed. Little island, little rabbits. Let them be. Just let them be. Old man's beard. We're gonna leave it for now. Not that necessary. Uh, let's just keep on going around the island. I think there's a corpse spawn somewhere behind, but you know, I'm, I'm to be honest, I really no idea. <laughs> I know somewhere in the in the vicinity. I think there's a deer corpse spawn. I'm not so sure. I am not so sure. But yeah. I've uh, I've played through these maps, the the two that I've been uh, visiting so far, the Desolation Point and the uh, the Coastal something something. Those two and the Mystery Lake. Those three are pretty much the ones I know the most. Uh, Pleasant Valley is also one that I do know quite well. Uh, Timberwolf Mountain, less. And then the, the marshy area, less as well. And then there's the two newer ones, which is the Railroad area and the Milton area and the Hush River Valley. That's the three, not two. Yeah, learned how to count. Those ones, I know not so very good. There's the ship. There's the boat. Should be an entrance on one of these sides. It's gonna be dark in there. Here's the entrance. Dark as the dungeon way down in the mine. Let's go in there. And oh, it's uh, not so dark over here. And there's a uh, there's a dude over here. Is that a scarf? Sweet. Did they by any chance? change that you can put a scarf in here no all right well we have to try we are very lucky finding that balaclava by the way that that one is one of the best uh, items for i see you scrap metal for your head protection so i'm happy uh, let's uh let's see if you can find something else i think we have four scrap now so if you find one more we could possibly heat this place up enough to uh Make our hatchet. I don't know. I think I only have like four coal. So I don't think uh, I have enough coal to do this. Uh, there's a cotton toque. Take that. And we also don't have the hammer yet. But the hammer should be... I should be able to find the hammer in the next area further down there. Uh, not in the ship. The way I said it right now, it, you would think it was in the ship. But no. Uh, further down the coastline. That's usually where you can find a hammer. Uh, let's get a light. And let's get going in. Let's get going in. Metal shells, huh? And there's some more coal. Warming up expired. That's okay. No worries. See you a new sprint there. This game has come so far. And I love it. It's... Really, a game that you know is a oh nice plenty of coal over here. It's a it's a successful indie game, and you know I appreciate that. So there's the forge. 
There's the furnace. There's a coal there. Furnace, forge. Yeah, and you have to heat it up enough to so you can craft. Well, oh, there's a jerry can. Two liters. All right. You're gonna be very, uh, very overwhelmed. Anyway, I was just saying. Oh, accelerant even nice. This game came a long way. I remember that was years ago when first I started watching others play this game. Uh, I was uh, I was watching Mathas Games. He's a really good YouTuber. You uh, you might want to check him out. It, he's really awesome. He was he was playing this game like extensively, and uh, when it was like one region only, I think so things was like just mystery like. <laughs> so the game was way different back then, and you know he he played more and more later on so it was, I watched quite a lot of his series as well I used to watch him play Project Zomboid and uh, The Escapists another flashlight look at that yeah so yeah that was pretty cool I still watch him these days occasionally I watch his uh, Kenshi Kenshi stuff it's, uh, it's pretty good at that pretty interesting storytelling way better than mine of course also, way better editing, so if you're looking for something more professional, you might want to check out his channel. Anyway, there's some antibiotics over here. What kind of drugs were you guys doing out here? Man, that's Canadians doing drugs in their ship. Leaving socks behind. I mean, I don't know what happened to this ship, but holy, holy balls, man. He definitely got shipwrecked, you could say. Not just wrecked, but also shipwrecked. Did they also add more areas to this ship, by the way? I don't think this kitchen and living area was a part of the ship before. I could be wrong. It was... It's been a while, you know? I'm gonna say that again. It's my excuse for not recognizing some things. Oh, let's go. Awesome. Do not... If, yeah. Do leave Rickon. That was the that was the plan. That's the ship's name, Rickon. Turn this off. Turn this off. But I thought it was just like the door. You just went out there and you left. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I thought you came in here, maybe. And that's how you left, possibly. I ah look, look. I don't remember. Nothing in here though, just a bunch of wolves being loud out there somewhere. That's okay. And that's the area where we want to go. But that's the area where we're gonna go next time for now. Thank you everybody for watching. Do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe to see more Do Magic, and I'll see you next time. Coco out.